Hello there and welcome to another episode of Coding with Business Central and today we are going to look at the record ref object so stay tuned I have created um, something small here let me call it a mini module as usual just a button let's call it a button or a mini page so um, when you give it the table number let's say 18 on validate it gives us the table name and the total number of records in that table so table 18 we have now uh, 68 customers in the record ref variable you can or object you can be able to use the set table view uh, where you you can set a filter uh, set it in a way that if we set a filter maybe we say where number the number of the customer is that is filter this is similar to the data item table view uh, filters that we usually input let's say the customer that starts with two and then see the gener what it will give us when we get a customer that starts with two so we have 10 customers whose number starts with two we can add as many filters maybe uh, we can say blocked is blank and all that and we'll get this so when i change this to table 23 for instance the vendor table it will still give me 10 we still have 10 vendors with that if i change it to a number or a vendor who starts with one we only have one vendor who starts with one so this is a, a very dynamic way of doing it because i'm only passing the table number so how did i do it on this other side there is a table and a page as simple as that so on validate of the table number where is my table when i validate this table number uh, let me minimize this when i validate the table number we get uh when we validate we we get the table number we open a record ref a reference to that table remember a record ref just references a table so if i open this particular table number it has to be there if there is no such table it will throw an error on that point maybe we could have do, done a table relation on to set the all objects and captions to see all the tables in the in a vision but uh, for now let's just stick to this we record ref that open opens now this particular table number it means now this record ref references this the thing that i forgot to do here is close we should always close our record ref dot close we open it and close we make it available for use if we now want to reuse it or something okay but i won't publish it but we'll use this as is so if now the set table view is now the text that you want to use it's a string that we pass to set filters either sorting filters and all that so if the set table view has a value then it's not equal to blank here that was we are saying we we now set it to that value and that is what gives us the filters that we have seen the result having now the total number as the count so the set view will now set a filter do you give it a string like we have done and then the result will give us a count so we have several functions record ref the caption this will give us uh, a reference to the caption or to, it will refer to the exact caption of the table that we are using and this will give us the count the number of records in that table what's remaining here okay let's add a link to uh, then all the let me say what all the filters all the records within the filter that we will get using that record ref so how will we do it let's add one field one extra field in this table uh, very fast okay the field will be a link uh, and it will be a text 
let's simplify it as much as possible uh, let me say 50 characters and we'll also have uh, what do you want we want a description so that we can reference all that link it can be a hundred characters so and uh, finally we add them to the page here control space so that you can get the intelligence for it uh, rec that link because of the requirement to use that I think without referencing rec in later versions you'll not be able to do something here okay it should I should have called it link description but uh, this one will serve as the purpose so we have the link and the description so still better still on the uh, we'll have to look at our record ref okay so we have set the table view if the record ref dot find first then let's find set because we want to look find set is uh, you, you should basically we should okay not you should we should basically use find set when we want to loop until recref.next is zero is zero so what we are doing we want to add a link um you know when you add a link it will be referenced in the record links table and you'll be able to access it on that record that is, um, it can be a link to a website, a link to a document management, maybe SharePoint. Um, this can be an easier way of doing it. So anything that is in our record ref, we have used the open function to open the particular table, set table view to set the filter. Now we are adding a link to all the records in that um, filter. So record ref .add link. So we have to confirm that if uh, the link is not equal to blank then so that we cannot add a blank link we add link we add that link the description can be blank so add link contains uh, two variables the link and the description of the link it will add the link uh, it will return an integer and of the record id of the link that we have added and i think that's it eh? for this record ref you can see how powerful it is we will add links very fast to two tables maybe customer and vendor because they are the most available and uh, let's get to it publishing my package right away it's been published i'll go back here it has detected the change okay let me discard so we want to add the link to all the records that start with two for instance i don't want a tour mr business central so let's view this and uh, go we open the record setup so let's add the link okay i did not put the validate on this maybe let me do that because okay let, let me just do this uh, https uh, dot com description is jishinde website guys go and check out that website as well technamsangi and jishinde dot com go check the website so this is the link that i want to add now to several tables in the vendor table when i set the table view it will add because the triggers are a on either of the uh, the table number or the set table view so where the number is filter we say it should start with two two star any number starting with two when i click on this it has added expected it, that it has added links to 10 records 
and uh, let me do table 18 as well and see okay should have added that let me close this and start with any table that starts with two with uh, any record that starts with two and there it is even before i open there is here is the link the link jishinde website uh, and here is the link when you click on it it opens for us this site jishinde.com as well if we go to vendors or vendors are found in purchasing the purchasing module when you go to vendors and find a vendor that starts with two where is my link come on where's my link didn't it add the link here let me confirm yes there it is so we have our link uh here we have added the link to this particular vendor and that is how maybe we can uh, when you have a function that may require more than one table or you want to link several uh, different functions especially for integration where you want uh, the vendor or the api to send you uh, data with parameters that can link to different tables the record ref is your best choice so i will send a link to many other functions that the record ref can uh, can do it has over 50 functions most of them are the same ones that are found in the record variable but it's a very good object or a variable to use and i really like of using it so if you found this video useful thank you if you have any feedback please write it in the comments i will see you in the next video may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one